Welcome to Tech Brothers. In this video, we're going to learn how to stop and start database mirroring endpoints in SQL Server. And the idea be behind that is that if you wanted to disable the mirroring for a moment, then you can go ahead and stop the endpoints, and then later on you can start the database mirroring endpoints. And we'll be using a T SQL script to do that. And in this particular video, we'll be learning mirroring status. First, we we'll, we are going to check the status of our uh, uh, mirroring and then we're going to go ahead and stop the mirroring endpoint and then after that when we stop that and we'll look at the status of the mirror that where it goes usually um, uh, you know all those statuses you need to know and uh, it's good to know and then uh, we'll be uh, starting the endpoints and after that we will look in at the status of the uh, 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 mirroring so let's go ahead and do that uh, this is my um, SQL Server, this is my principal server, uh, and I have a database, as you can see, let me refresh the databases, and right here is the database TFS, TFS underscore data warehouse, DW, this is my mirroring stata, uh, status and um, uh, database, and if you take a look on the mirroring, let's take a look on the mirroring as you can see that uh, synchronized the database are fully synchronized so these are the endpoints this is the principal endpoints and this this is uh, the mirroring endpoints however we do have a name of these endpoints these endpoints this is the address of these endpoints and we're going to go ahead and look at the endpoints if you wanted to look at the endpoints you need to go to SQL Server objects and go to the endpoints and go to the mirroring. This is database mirroring. If you have created any endpoints, my endpoint name is mirroring. So this is my endpoint. And if you go look at the mirror server and go to the server objects and go to the endpoint, you will see the endpoint right there in database mirroring as well. This is mirroring right here. So we're, what we're going to do is go ahead and first stop the uh, endpoint as you can see right now the status of the databases which I showed you right here is synchronized so when we stop the endpoint we wanted to look at that what what happened to the status of the mirroring uh, database so we're gonna go ahead and this is the script that we're going to use so let's go ahead and stop the endpoint so you alter endpoint this is the endpoint name as you saw in endpoints mirroring so you're gonna go ahead and execute this Command completed successfully. Let's go and refresh the status of these databases. This database, it says principal disconnected. So that's good. That means that it's uh, uh, the endpoint is stopped. There is no um, replication or there's no data movement happening between these two. So let's refresh and it says disconnected and in recovery. So what we're going to do is now start the endpoint and we will look at the status of the mirroring database let's go ahead and start and it command completed successfully let's go back to our database which is in disconnected state and right now and refresh it it's synchronized now let's look at our right here refresh our mirror database and as you can see that is mirror and synchronize restoring. So basically, this is how you uh, uh, start and stop endpoints, and we saw the statuses, and we went through all this learning. And I hope this video helps.